Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the hydroelectric power plant. In that, I will explain components of the hydroelectric power plant and working of hydroelectric power plant and the animation of that I am going to use to explain. First, we will take the what are the different components of the hydroelectric power plants are there. First, we should know that what is meant by hydroelectric power plant. Hydro means it is a water power. How the water contains the power? If the water is stored at a certain height, certain altitude, it will consist of the energy by virtue of its position that we will call as a potential energy. When that water is allowed to flow, that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy and that we will call as a energy present in the flowing water and that is called as a hydro energy. And that energy contained in that one that we can convert into a other form of energy and that will be converted into electrical uh, in the mechanical energy first in the turbine and if the turbine is coupled to the electrical generator then we can generate electricity from it and that is the whatever we can call hydroelectric power plant and that means here by using the hydro energy water energy we can generate the electricity then we will take the what are the components of the hydroelectric power plant the flowing water is stopped by constructing a dam across the flowing river and that will form say a reservoir of the water and this is we can call as a head pond the pond means that is where the reservoir the water is stored that is the head pond it is a certain altitude the height is required to convert its potential energy and there the in the reservoir the water is stored then the water is allowed to flow through the pipe and that is called as a penstock the water which is flowing from the reservoir to the generator and that whatever the connection flow line pipe is there that will call as a penstock then the flowing water turns the generator whenever the flowing water due to its uh, kinetic energy present in it that will be hits on the blades of the turbine and there the turbine will be starts rotating by converting kinetic energy into a mechanical energy in the turbine turbine is a device which converts the uh, kinetic energy into a mechanical energy and idle turbine the whatever the idle turbine is that that is converts the flowing water energy into a mechanical energy mechanical energy means the rotary energy we are going to get the rotary shaft energy we are going to get there then this can be converted to a electrical generator here the shaft is connected to a electrical generator in the generator the outside stator windings are there the inside the rotary whatever the shaft is there the rotor is connected to that one and there due to the that faraday's law the electricity will be generated in the generator the electricity will be generated and this turbine as well as the generator which are housed in the powerhouse okay these are housed in the powerhouse then electricity what generates from the turbine generator that will be transmitted to a transformer where voltage and the ampere are controlled in the transformer okay step down and step up the transformer we are going to use and here the step down transformer we are going to use to generate the hold reduce the voltage from it then that will be transmitted through a transmission lines through a transmission lines where the electricity is required there we are going to supply and after doing the work the water whatever is there 
that is discharged through a draft tube the draft tube is a, a increasing cross sectional area tube which will uh, increases the uh, pressure and reduces the velocity here what is there after converting the conver this kinetic energy into a mechanical energy its velocity will be reduced and due to that the pressure also it will be reducing and there there may be a back pressure due to that it should not backing due to that there is a increase pressure is required and to increase that one draft tube is used and thereby there is no back pressure is acting towards that one and there that will be discharged to the tail race below the level of the water at the lower level the tail race is there there it will be discharged and thereby the power will be generated and this is the one of the method of the generation of the power and there are different types of the power plants are there the hydroelectric power plant is one of the popular power generation because it is not producing any environmental pollution and it is a green energy and pollution free energy and naturally the potential is energy available for the generation of the power and that's why the hydroelectric power plants are produced uh, power plants are usually used in the regions where the rainfall is more and the, the potential head is available in those regions okay this is about the working about of the hydroelectric power plant usually the electricity generated that can be distributed to the domestic application as well as the industrial applications and there are different types of the advantages and disadvantages concerned to this one and also the applications where we are going to and what are the major idle power plants are there in india as well as in the world that i am going to discuss in the next session and thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment